Hello, my friends. How you doing? Welcome to another Google Geeking Google Classroom tip. What we're going to be doing now is taking a look at oh, all of these things over here. I think I've got that right. This is a list. If you are looking to be um, a level one certified educator for Google, and a lot of districts now with all this remote teaching and learning in our area um, is considering having their educators go to that training, not just for the now, but in case there are future uh, episodes of things like the coronavirus or other things that may occur. We just never know. And so there's a lot to it. Um, but one of the things that's really great about this is Eric Kurtz um, has created a, a list of all of these skills you need and all the Google tools in order to pass the certification training. What I've done is I've used my Google Keep, and I have taken those ideas that he has put together into this Google Keep file. And we'll get into Google Keep later if you've never used it. Um, just a tool I really like of the to-do management system. And I've also created a Google Doc, made sure I gave him credit here. Um, and these are the things needed for Google Classroom. So I've, I've narrowed it down so we don't have all the stuff because it can be very overwhelming. We already feel quite overwhelmed as well. And what I want to do is just spend some time going through all of these items so that you have access to it in case you need it. Now I know a couple of these beginning ones you might already know. Um, that's okay. It might be good just to refresh your memory. You might pick up an, a new little nugget here or there that might make life a little bit easier. But these first couple ones, I'm assuming that since you're in the Google Geeking PD course, you already know how to do some of these. But don't just simply ignore them. Maybe check them out, explore it, um, and then when we get into these other ones, I think it would be quite helpful. So that's what this series is going to be, um, is we've already looked at a lot of stuff in the classroom based on urgent needs, and now we're actually going to take it from a ground zero to the end, so you kind of have a, a beginner robust um, thought process behind Google Classroom. So I just wanted to welcome you to the structure, how it's going to work. I will have this checklist right here available to you within the classroom, so you can kind of keep track of your own learning. Um, and I will then show in a future episode how I use Google Keep to create something like this, because what's really great about it is when I'm done, in my case, when I'm done creating a video and I know how to do it, I can hit this little box, I can X it, it goes down, and it shows that it's completed. And I really like this feature, so I'll uncheck that. We haven't created it yet. So I want to welcome you to this Google Classroom Level 1 checklist of skills. And let's go ahead and dive into the very first skill set. And we're actually going to knock out one, two, and three all in the same video because those are relatively easy and many of you already know how to do it. All right, my friends, let's dive into it and let's get rocking and rolling. <laughs> 